Well, the world's most wanted terrorist leader is dead. President Trump today announced that ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi died during a U.S. Special Forces raid by suicide. KCO 9's Leslie Marin has the latest. Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi is dead. President Trump announced the violent death of the ISIS leader in a U.S. Special Forces-led raid on his hideout in northern Syria. He died like a dog. He died like a coward. The world is now a much safer place. Syrian activists released this video of what is believed to be the aftermath of the attack. President Trump said he watched the raid unfold Saturday from the White House Situation Room. And as the 48 year old ISIS leader tried to escape, he dragged three of his young children through the compound. He died after running into a dead end tunnel, whimpering and crying and screaming all the way. He ignited his vest, killing himself and the three children. The president said no U.S. personnel were killed in the operation, while a number of al Baghdadi's fighters died in the battle. Administration officials say a combination of visual evidence and DNA tests confirmed al Baghdadi's identity. The ISIS leader's death comes after the president faced bipartisan criticism for his decision to pull U.S. troops out of Syria. This is a moment where President Trump's worst critic should say, well done, Mr. President. It's great that we've gotten al-Baghdadi and killed him. He's a dangerous man, an evil man. The fight against ISIS has to continue. The president said al-Baghdadi's death demonstrates his commitment to the, quote, enduring and total defeat of ISIS. President Trump said he didn't notify some of the members of Congress ahead of the raid because he thought it would maybe jeopardize the mission. The operation was named after one of al-Baghdadi's American victims, Kayla Mueller. In studio, Leslie Money, KCAL 9 News.